Hi, welcome to EMG 4405 Life Cycle Thinking and Sustainable Development. Today we will present about analyzing major issues faced by lecturers using SOLCA. The contents in this video are about introduction, problem identification, objectives, literature review, conceptual framework, research method, results in discussion, conclusion, references and research team. Introduction. According to Martinez Blanco et al. 2015, so LCA is defined as a compilation and evaluation of the social and socio-economic aspects and the positive and negative impacts of the activities associated with the organization as a whole or a portion thereof adopting a life cycle perspective. As the so LCA is to evaluate the impacts of the activities related with organizations, therefore, the stakeholder that will be evaluated in this case study is university lecturers. Lecturers can be defined as a person who gives lectures, especially as an occupation at a university or college of higher education. Stakeholder, lecturers from university. Study area, faculty at university. Method, use a questionnaire that consists of a group of questions or other types of indicators that aim to collect information from respondents. Problem identification. The first is traffic congestion. Some lecturers facing these problems because of the distance between their home and campus are far away and will be facing the traffic congestion. Second, unsatisfied with facilities provided. Some facilities may have not been upgraded to the latest version. Thus, some difficulties may arise as the facilities such as computers do not work well. Third, passive students. Each lecturer will be facing these issues as students are not responsive and quiet during the lecture either physical class or online class. Research objectives on this topic are First, to identify major issues often faced by lecturers while working at the faculty. Second, to assess the level of lecturer satisfaction to the work environment at the faculty. Research questions on this topic are First, what are major issues often faced by lecturers while working at the faculty? Second, how satisfied the lecturers to the work environment at the faculty? Third, how able lecturers are to adapt with the problem while working at the faculty. Literature review for this topic, first, these challenges are vital to understand for any institution wishing for a successful e-learning outcome. Instructors need to have a good grip on technology and encouraging attitude towards e-learning for a positive learning outcome. Islam, Beer, and Slack, 2018. Second, a soft approach using the asynchronous mode which lays a solid platform for going further in the development of pedagogic approaches using contemporary digital technologies that facilitate blended learning protocols for future growth in teaching and preparing millennials for the teaching in a vastly changing digital world. Mark, 2018. Third, the challenges in developing students' soft skills through the integration of the skill in their teaching are large classroom size, limited time to cover the syllabus and students' negative attitude in the classroom. While they realized the importance of soft skills for the students, some found that incorporating them in their lessons was a daunting task, while others relied on their creativity and pedagogical skills to enhance students' soft skills. Idris and Abdullah, 2019. Lastly, principal components analysis, PCA, was used to identify the factors which explain most variance in the datasets. The extraction criterion used is that the cumulative percentage of variance and eigenvalue for the factor to be identified, extracted, is greater than 1. This resulted in the identification of nine factors for both the academic staff and student samples. Al-Habib and Rowley, 2018. Conceptual Framework, from lecturers, we will find the social issues which are major issues using SOLCA from satisfaction level, evaluation from the main issues, and their opinion to solve the problem on major issues while at university. Sampling Technique. To get data collection, first, we will distribute the questionnaire among lecturers through email. Second, the questionnaire have divided by four sections which are section A, demographic section B, C and D, social issues. Third, the questionnaire also distribute to 60 respondents to get data collection. Lastly, we use Likert scale questions to get the answers. By using the Cochrane's formula, to calculate a sample size of a large population whose degree of variability is not known. The maximum variability which is equal to 50%, p equals 0.5, with 95% confidence level and 5% for margin error, the calculation for required sample size will be as follows. N0 equals Z2PQ, E2. 
equals 1.962 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.052 equals 385 equals 385 1 plus 384 76 equals 64 result in discussion for section a which is socio-demographic the majority of participants ranged in age from 31 to 35 years old as shown 65 percent of the respondent were female and 35 percent were male the highest respondent are from malay 92 percent and followed by chinese and indian 4 percent Only 4% the religion was Christian and others were Islam 96%. Most of the respondent were married 83% and only 17% single status. Furthermore, 14 respondents, 61%, needs more than 10 kilometers went to the faculty while, 26%, needs 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers. From the graph, we can see for question 1, which is I am agree with the administrative procedures at the university, the mean is 3.7391 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 2, I am satisfied with my teaching skills, the mean is 3.6957 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 3, the faculty facilities are well looked after and are up to university standards, the mean is 2.5217 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 4. Online platforms are easy to use in teaching students, the mean is 3.6522 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 5. I am agree with the effort made in my teaching now is enough, the mean is 3.6522 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 6. Faculty provides excellent and hygiene facilities, the mean is 2.7826 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 7. Academic material and services provided by the library are complete. The mean is 3.4783 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 8. I am excited whenever I'm teaching in the classes. The mean is 4.3913 which is in good satisfaction level. Question 9. I am satisfied with the remuneration that I receive as a lecturer. The mean is 3.7391 which is in moderate satisfaction level. Question 10. I am very pleased with the number of holidays that I receive in a year. The mean is 4.0435 which is a good satisfaction level. Based on the graph, the highest mean score for satisfaction level is 4.3913 which is I am excited whenever I'm teaching in the classes and in a good score. The lowest mean score for satisfaction level is 2.5217 which is the faculty facilities are well looked after and are up to university standards and in a moderate score. Next, Section C, Evaluation on Major Issues. Based on the graph, it shows that the mean score for the statement university staff is caring and respects the lecturers is 3.6522 which is in good evaluation. Secondly, faculty has the right testing and grading method, the mean is 4.00 which is in good evaluation. Thirdly, the mean score for their teaching environment is very conducive is 3.3913 which is in good evaluation. Next, the mean score about I had done very best to communicate with my students is 4.3913 which is also in good evaluation. Then, the statement I'm encouraging feedback from the students, the mean is 4.6087 which is a good evaluation. Other than that, I'm facing traffic congestion when going to work show that the mean is 3.1739 which is moderate evaluation. Then, for the about statement I'm so stressed whenever I'm going to work indicates the mean score is 2.7391 which is also in moderate evaluation. Next, I am proud to work for my faculty and the mean is 4.1304, which is in good evaluation. The mean score for the I receive appropriate recognition when they do good work is 3.6522 which is in good evaluation. Lastly, for the mean score I have a clear path for career advancement is 3.913 which is also in good evaluation. Based on the graph the highest mean score is 4.6087 which is stated that they are encouraging feedback from students, and it shows that a good evaluation. The second highest, mean for the evaluation from main issues is 4.3913 which is have done my very best to communicate with the students. Based on the results it shows that lack of communication can be major issued if it always happen.
The lowest mean score for the evaluation of lecturer towards the major issues faced by them is 2.7391, which is I'm so stressed whenever I'm going to work, and it was under moderate level. The finding indicates that most of lecturer disagreed they had stress when they going to work. Next, moving to section D. Opinion of lecturer to solve the problem. Based on the graph, it shows that the mean score for the statement as a lecturer, I feel connected to my students is 4.1739 which is in good opinion. Secondly, the main challenge in online distance learning, ODL, is the internet problem, the mean is 4.1739 which is in good opinion. Thirdly, the mean score for the online platform help lecturers support online learning during the COVID-19 outbreak is 4.3478 which is also in good opinion. Next, the mean score I am expecting a better response from students when conducting online classes is 4.1739 indicated it in good opinion. Then, the statement about feedback I received during my appraisal helped me in professional development, the mean is 4 which is a good opinion. Other than that, the government policies have had a positive impact on the education sector in the last year show that the mean is 3.3043 which is moderate opinion. Then, for the statement lecturers must provide individual attention to students with special needs indicates the mean score is 4.087 which is in good opinion. Next, lecturers should give positive feedback to students regularly and the mean is 4.087, which is in good opinion. The mean score for the lecturers and students should have a positive bond with each other is 4.3913 which is in good opinion. Lastly, for the mean I have to pay for myself for any professional development activities is 3.8261 which is also in good evaluation. Based on the graph the highest mean score is 4.3913 which is stated that lecturers and students should have a positive bond with each other. This findings indicates that the relationship between lecturers and students are important to ensure the learning process can go smoothly. Next, the second highest opinion of lecturers to solve the problems is the online platform help lecturers support online learning during the COVID-19 outbreak. Based on the results it shows the lecturers believe that online platform helps them in the learning process and it was easiest way to keep in touch with their students. Then, the lowest mean score for the opinion of lecturers to solve the issues is 3.3043, which is government policies have a positive impacts on the education sectors and it was under moderate opinion to solve the issues that faced by lecturers. Conclusion. Using SOLCA, we managed to analyze major issues faced by university lecturers. The major issue that has been identified is traffic congestion on their way to work, causing time constraints for the lecturer to teach the class as they are late to the class. To avoid the heavy traffic, most of the lecturers will come early to the faculty and enter the class on time. Furthermore, non-upgraded facilities in faculty are also the major issues faced by lecturers. The low satisfaction among university lecturers can influence their teaching and communication performances. Therefore, the faculty or the university needs to do some evaluation on the facilities and upgrade those malfunctions or old facilities. Thank you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel.